Hello, a Cancer! It is time for your reading for November of this current year, which is the year of 2018. Oh, looks like you're looking for some justice, but you're still weighing some stuff out while you're holding him back. Makes sense, but, um... I feel like you guys are really fucking drained, like... The other day, I did, like, a Thunderdome for you guys and put it up on Instagram and then on my Facebook after I figured out how to download it, which is, like, yes, finally. I thought there was another way of doing it, but I guess not. So, whatever. But, um... Yeah, like, even when I did the Thunderdome for you guys, it was, like... Such a downer, man. Like, I don't know what it is. It feels like you guys are so drained and so exhausted. And, it, it, and like, I got, like, I just got done with Gemini and, like, you know, usually I feel a little tired, a little woozy. But when I got, I wanted to get to you guys and it's just been, like, I've been slagging for, like, a half hour. I had to take a break. It was just like, oh, I need a breather. I don't know, it was just for me reading the cards, or what? Do you guys feel like you can't get anything started, or manifested, or be God? Like, lack of initiative, lack of creativity, nothing working the way you want it to, shitty spells in Skyrim that poison you by accident. It looks like a mark. I need to clean this off with a nice... That's a little better. Not much, but it's better. That's as good as it's gonna get. Okay. But yeah, I feel like you guys have just been like putting your energy into so much. Like you're keeping to yourselves a little bit, or like maybe you're just trying to figure yourself out. Or figure out a situation, maybe. I don't know. It just feels like. You have your... It feels like you're just so... Tired. Like... You know, the point where, like, you're... Like, that kind of tired where, like... It's almost like a sickness tired. Where you're laying on the couch and you're not really, like... Capable of moving because your whole body hurts. And slowly, just small droplets of tears roll out of your eyeball every once in a while. Every few minutes. Because they're tears of anguish, because you have to lay there and be in, like, a slight annoying pain. And it's just like, oh, someone cuddle me. <laughs> I need cuddles. <laughs> oh, you're looking for a proposal to stay, maybe, or is someone looking for that from you? I mean, someone's already geared up, ready to go. But they might be looking for a reason to stay, too. Could be you, Cancer, or it could be a person you're dealing with in this reading. It's general. I'm still doing readings, if you want one. Just go in my description box and hit me up in the email. Ah. Seeing what goes in as you come out and you're being patient a little bit. Or maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Hmm. Yeah, that could be possible. Maybe you're seeing how things go with them. Maybe they're waiting for, um... Someone to put in their ships and seeing what comes back to them, you know? Just one shot of fluffle and then we'll begin. That's nice. You can be the first one then, since you're so enthusiastic, I say. Hey, welcome to Scorpio season, by the way. We're still in the retrograde. So if you were doing anything dirty behind closed doors, Scorpio's gonna pull that shit out. No whammies. Okay, let's we'll start with these two. Okay. So there's this. This is someone's finding some justice or balancing on their mind. Oh my goodness, Cancer just came up for you in the Thunderdome, too. 
as did that. And the beginning theme in all of this, a King of Pentacle, Capricorn Virgo, a Taurus type. They can be a little whiny bitch. <laughs> Not really, but they're, um, they are, um, somebody who is definitely being a little selfish and, uh, Oh, I do this much. Look at what I did. I washed the dishes in the sink today. Kind of dickish, right? Like trying to get praises for things that aren't really as much of an accomplishment to an everyday person as it is to them. It's like they're spoiled. Even as an adult, they're spoiled and they don't understand how spoiled they are. Like, look at that duck face. Look at it. Like... Look at it. Look at that duck face. That is ridiculous. No grown man should be making a duck face as much as a grown female, okay? I hate duck face. It makes no sense. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being particular, right? Right. So, you got what you're wanting or how you're feeling is like some justice, possibly a Libra involved in this too. Or maybe you have some air in you, one of the two. Mind you, this is general, so it does resonate, no worries. I'll hit you next time, probably. Not literally, but you know what I mean. But yeah, so you might be looking for some fairness, some balance in the situation, or maybe you're dealing with a Libra. Or it could be something about karma. And below that is the lovers, possibly a Gemini. So there's another air. Who is, um... It's reversed, so it's like disunion. Something didn't work out right between like two people, possibly. Possibly soulmate, possibly karmatic. I don't like using those words because it's like I don't know. I just I just don't feel like they fit when it comes to people. Like I I, I like to think of them as concepts and theory more than an actual thing. Because then like you just sit there forever looking for somebody to um. Fill a void that you created in your own head, right? At least that's how I see it. You know, you don't need anybody to make yourself happy but you. People are just, like, accessories you take in from time to time. And whether they, like, like it or not, like, you know, extroverts adopt introverts every day. <laughs> but yeah, like... There was a breakup up here, down here, and that's leading to some karmatic justice someone's feeling. Like, almost like this breakup is the reason why justice is upright. It, almost like it's being, um, carried? I want to say, like, I almost think that that's the energy right now, like, karma's doing whatever. I'm not trying to be scary or anything, I'm just saying. Like, that's kind of the vibe. Um, then we got this King of Wands right here. Reverse, he's acting like a spoiled king prince. He's looking at this Six of Wands who's in the fears. Like, someone's afraid that they have to surrender, that someone's going to come against them, that a bunch of people could come against him, you know, like, a loss of a victory. And, like, this King of Wands, he's being way stricter to what he should be. And he's being very mean, and he's coming in to just whack somebody on the head with a rod. Being, like, spoiled King Prince, right? Like, acting like his rule has to be, like, you don't argue with him because he's right no matter how much you argue. The sky is not polka dot. Okay? There's no point in arguing with him. Just let him have it. Just... Let them just take the L because it'll save you more trouble than having to deal with this shit, right? It could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Uh, and what lies below that is like this two of swords that's going against you because somebody isn't making a decision, Cancer. Or someone that you're dealing with you need to make a decision about, but you're not. But it's definitely going against whatever it is you're trying to intend. And it's going against what you're wanting, which is this king of wands. <laughs> He's kind of like, Ugh. Do you really want to deal with that amount of anger and self-righteous hatred and such? 
Like, sure, it can be sexy for a while, but for how long? Like, you can only go escalate from there, you know? And then this final result, which is like almost the catalyst, is a. Uh, which is what I like to say. The final. Like, I like saying. I don't like calling it a final result because it's the last thing that happens. I like saying it because, like, this is the accumulation of why all of this is stemming out, right? And it's enabling behaviors. You know, the whole fig tree became a poisonous fig tree because people were giving water from a well that became poisonous. And they gave it to the tree. And it made the tree bloom. But people ate it. And they died. It's enabling behaviors. It's not good energy. And you planted something in the wrong kind of dirt. And now... Audrey... Or Aubrey? I can't remember that plant's name. Is being like, feed me, Seymour! And, you know, you gotta feed dead bodies to it. Right? That's never good. That's never good. Um, but yeah. Seems like there's, there's some karma. Like, if you're not dealing with a Libra, like, that could also be, like, karma. Or maybe you're the one weighing out what is and is not the truth and what is balance. You know, like, because justice is holding both the sword of truth and the scales to weigh out what is just. Not necessarily what is fair, though, because, like, the King of Wands is right next to it, and I feel like fairness isn't... I feel like fairness is more about what feeds the ego than it is just, because justice is about making one or more victims whole again. You know, to bring some sort of solution to a wrong, right? That is what just is, to me. It's not necessarily fair. It's not meant to be fair. It's meant to be just. And even the times when it is considered just... Even by law, it isn't entirely, you know. But this is what makes the home quite balanced. Ten of Pentacles, like, gaining the wealth and all that, right? Like, And there's a decision that really needs to be made, but nobody's making it with the Two of Swords. Because I think they're afraid of having to surrender something or lose something or give something up. Like, the Six... Sixes are about balance, right? And it feels like there's no balance here. Maybe somebody's been spying out trying to find some balance. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe that's why they're stuck with not being able to make a decision and why they're afraid of having to surrender or to do whatever. Because they're trying to look for information to possibly help them out. And I feel like there's a lot against them with all these wands since they're the only ones with a wand with a wreath on it. Like those wands are gonna like beat the shit out of that guy and just tear up his wreath because his is way too pretty to be in the town of like Wand Wanda. I totally made that up, but it sounds really good, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, and because someone is feeling like like they're going to lose something or they need to sacrifice or they need to surrender, or they need to understand that people are just going to be against them. There's an enemy in their house. Shit like that. Like, bad vibes. It's because of enabling behavior. Oh. Possibly with a Capricorn who's not delivering something. And if they are, they're putting it off. You know? Like, this is Capricorn's card, and here's the Knight of Pentacles. Right? Like... He's, he's slow to begin with, and now he's going even slower. Almost like someone spited. <laughs> like, almost like it's being done out of spite. Just to make this shit last longer. Because that's how I've always seen it. It's like, the devil is the person who is, who is uh, keeping the bondage going because they're getting something out of it. But now there's a delay for some reason for why this is continuing. Like, something might be causing this scenario to happen like something might have caused this delay or for this to stop completely and it might have been this enabling behaviors in this fear of having to surrender of some sorts or to try to set things back in balance because everything was weighed in one way or another I'm not looking that's too many
Oh, my nose is so stuffy. The eight, of, eight of Cups popped up somewhere and didn't turn. No whammies. All right, let us clarify all this. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hmm. All right, so so far, Cancer, you or the person you're dealing with, it's almost like this is karmatic justice that someone feels like they need to defend themselves. That's how you or somebody you're dealing with is feeling like. Like, karma is coming in because something happened down here to cause somebody to feel like people are coming against them that they need to defend themselves constantly. Like, this King of Wands is hanging on way longer than what they should be in this situation. Like, they've been at a crossroads. They need to let go. They need to move on. They need to figure out if they're going left, right, or down. Well, in this... Well... Okay, would it be down this way or down that way? Or should I call that up? What are, what are your guys' votes on that? Is it up or is it down? Because <laughs> he's got to fall one of the ways. Like he's already going this way because he's completely covering the um, King of Wands when he's leading that way. All upside down and stuff. Like acting like a little... like Almost having like a martyr complex. As I would read with the uh, Aleister Crowley deck. My Toth deck. It's almost like this is all, this is like a martyr complex. Someone is just staying in place rather than moving on, out of principle. <laughs> and now someone's like sitting over here feeling like they weren't victorious because they missed an opportunity. Like that's what's fear in you, right? Then we got like this illusion of the lovers, but there was an offering given out. Huh. Okay, so like... Wow, okay. So like, okay, I'm gonna start with this one, because this one catches my eye. This one's simple, it's like... There's a breakup, but there's also an offer given out, and, but I feel like the door is right here too. Like, you can either take the offer or you can get the fuck out. It's like, you know, how Jesus approaches people when it comes to salvation, right? You can either accept me or you can burn in hell. Mind you, I'm a pastor's kid, so I find humor in that way more than what you think. <laughs> Made that joke up when I was 16. Actually, I heard it from Gilbert Godfrey, to be honest, but I made it sound better. Um, but this I really want to talk about, because, like, this kind of makes sense now. Like, someone is unsure what to do because, like, they're sitting there waiting for a fight. Now, they've done already one. It's like, um... Okay. Say you and your friends go to a bar and y'all get drunk, Right? And you say something really offensive to your friend. And they snap on you for it. So what do you do? You get all in your feelings because they snap on you and probably say something mean. So you punch them in the face. Well, then they punch you in the face. And now you're mad and, and like you retaliate back. And it just keeps escalating until you, you're fine, but your friend's bloody and they're walking away. And now you're sitting there thinking, oh, they'll be back. Except you won the battle, you lost the war, because, like, you, your friend's not coming back. You can stand there ready all day. They're done with that shit. Like, they're mad. They're finished. They're just like, wow, what a douchebag. Like... Almost like, you really expect me to believe that we're cool after all the shit you've done and, like, how you just plain out disrespected me? 
that almost seems right, you know, like. That almost feels right to me. Ugh, I wish I could return it. Because it's like, you know, like, this is about manipulating, but then realizing that, like, you know, maybe you're wrong about it. This person was a really shitty crook. They tried to get away with something only to find out that they got left with the heaviest part of the baggage. Like, these two dropped their swords and gave up on this person. And on this person standing alone. With these two other swords that aren't familiar to him. These two are, but these aren't. And he is by himself, just sitting there waiting to swing at people who aren't going to come back for him whatsoever. That's almost what it feels like. It feels like that's what somebody's doing because they don't know what to do. You know? Because of that, someone's stuck in a martyr complex with it. But being really aggressive about it with the King of Wands underneath of it. And then over here, look at this. Look, we got the Seven of Pentacles with enabling behaviors. Being in the background of someone being plagued mentally by this. Where they realize they missed an opportunity. And they weren't given a real victory. I feel like they thought that they were victorious. Like up here, you know, and instead of surrendering like they should have, they missed an opportunity. That's what it really seems like to me. Like. It's almost like karma, karma is saying that like people are going to come against them, right? Someone doesn't know what to do, so they're just going out and fighting whatever, like kicking everybody out, like get the fuck off my lawn, get the fuck off my lawn, go this way go but then they realize that all of the fighting didn't lead to anything and they just m been missing opportunities left and right and now they're just kind of living with that in their head with the ending theme being having to let go just walk away the cups are empty right this is empty go for when it comes to this King of Pentacles reverse, this con, this shyster. But I don't know, like, I almost feel like. I don't know if this is actually a person. Three cards summarizing the tops of them. That's what I need. Just singing to myself. There's one. Oop. Someone's just trying to get away with some sneaky shit. That's why people are coming against me. That's two sevens right there. Like, seven of swords and seven of wands. Both of them reversed. Both of them very much like, uh, Like, karma is coming against somebody because of a disunion where there was an offer? Like, wait. Like, even when there were two people right here, there was this breakup, there was still an offer. And someone thought they could just sneak away without getting caught, but then they end up getting caught about it? How oh, interesting, Cancer. Once again, this isn't you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. With this bullshit, right? Oh, okay. So there's some hesitation right here, still. When it comes to someone not knowing what to do and fighting. In a martyring complex with a king of wands person. And yeah, that's still broken. The relationship's still broken up in November. Like, or, or, it's, or someone's going to break up, possibly, in November. Not all of you. It could be some of you. If you haven't already dealt with this or you're not dealing with this at all. But like, someone missed an opportunity and they realize, I think. They're enabling behaviors for the cause of that. And that's why there's a breakup possibly coming for some. 
if you haven't already dealt with this, or if you're not dealing with this period, if you're like single, uh, I don't know. Maybe you lost the dog. I, I have no idea. Like, apply it as you will. If it doesn't apply, don't worry about it, right? But yeah, it looks like there's going to be a definitely, definitely like separation. Like someone thought they could sneak away, but then they keep hesitating, and then that's just... Like, maybe somebody thought they could get away from these two swords, but it's like evidence. It's like... You're, that's just, like, the way you're behaving is what you're telling somebody. Like, for whoever you're dealing with, like, they deal with actions, not words. And the way you behave, possibly, is, like, this two of swords still on the ground. is just showing evidence. And there's another two. Like, you're trying to get away from something, but all you're doing is leaving the evidence behind for someone to see what you're doing. And there's a chance that it might even be miscommunicated. If you're not careful. Maybe that's what causes the uh, hesitation, too. Because, like, you're hesitating even when you fight, but you're willing to, like, dish this out if someone sends you something. But I, but I wonder if you're, like, you're hesitating because you don't know how to read the person and your hesitation is causing that person to see this in you. Like, sneaky behavior. Like, I don't know, like, omission of information is a lie kind of vibe, right? Like... Nobody likes that kind of person. When you don't tell somebody something. Kind of like that. Like, if you don't... Like, I don't know. Like, I guess words are nice, but like, if your behavior saying one thing to a person, that might be all they see. And that might be all they read from you. And that's all they need for an answer. But I hope everything's well with you, Cancers. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.